Hi guys, I got my HS402 Junior off the breadboard and soldered up. Yeah, it's working pretty good. Um, it's got this coming as my power supply. Got it set at 5 volts. This is setting coming in at 0. Turn on the supply, hops up to you know, 4.91. Um, I can crank it right up. Well, 17 volts and off a little bit, 16.77. And then there's my, uh, if I flip the positive and negative around, it'll give me the minus, like we're supposed to have. That's giving me exactly minus 0.17 volts. Um, I'll turn that off. I've got a wave generator set up for channel 2. Turn channel 1 off. And I've got a 1K sine wave coming at it. And I do like, let's get the hats on. I do like, like if, if you've got it really crunched up, fast way to get a nice thing is just use this button here and you can bring it quickly to the one wave. Um, do the one kilohertz, exactly what the thing's set at. I'll give it a square wave. And there's my 1K square wave coming on this thing. Anyways. Yeah, so when I built this one, I sort of picked some resistors that ended up being about plus or minus 20 volt. Um, it's a bit, this Martin software is very awesome on this one. So I'm just taking the zero to I'm changing this from a pro to a plus or minus volt bipolar. Reconnect the device. And then you just got to do a calibration. So you're going to quickly, well, you're going to take channel one, short the leads. Hit the zero, pick channel one, continue. Something, yeah, and it's giving me a half a volt offset, which isn't like the really good pro ones that Martin designs, but. And then I'm going to give it a five volt reference signal for the multiplier. Uh, five volts on, so the multiplier, I've connected this to five volts. Channel one, you got to choose this to whatever your references and continue and I'm getting a multiplier of 4.63 and it says warning but that's okay because it's thinking it was supposed to be shooting for 5 volts but it's actually getting 20 on a scale close at this stage yeah so now I'm exactly reading 5 volts at 5 volts 